Heidi's right, correctly the predicted second. everything from the collapse of the Soviet Union to the dot-com meltdown, and even the last two recessions. And now the founder of the Trends Research Institute is here with his predictions for 2013. Gerald Salenti joins us live. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right. Uh, the first item is prediction party time. And this, this is based on the fact what we're living through right now. There's a lot of gloom and doom out there. Yeah, and people, you know, they want to boogie before the lights go out. They're tired <laughs> of this stuff. You know, I mean, it's... it's there was no election bounce. After the election, things went to a dud. Then the physical yeah. cliff hit, and then the tragedy in Newtown. You're looking at the news this morning about war games. Isn't that wonderful? And in Iran. Yeah, and then you look at all the millennial generation. These kids are getting out of school with a mountain of debt, no future in front of them. And they're saying, enough, I want to have a good time. And we're drawing the parallels. The crash of 1929, the Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, world war. You go back to that time, it was the happiest, hottest time in American music. Sure. You know, people are swinging, they're in the mood. We're going to see the same thing start happening. People know in their bones that things aren't right, and they want to have a good Live time. Live it up now while you can. And, and there's going to be changes in music, in fashion, in entertainment. Will we be getting back to swing? We're Not, leaving no. Gangnam, that's the important thing. <laughs> It'll be something new. It never comes back the same. All right, let's talk about the economy. Your prediction? More of the same, but worse. The only thing that's keeping this economy going, everybody knows it, cheap money, interest rates fed to near zero. Yep. Here at all time, I just bought a building. You keep printing money. Yeah, I just bought a building in uptown Kingston, Colonial Kingston. I got a mortgage, 3.25%, and they covered closing costs. It's locked in for 10 years. Give so now what they're doing, exactly, and now by printing all of this money, they're devaluing the currency. And it's not only the United States, the new Abe, uh, the Prime Minister of Japan just came in. Bank of Japan, print more money. European Union, print more money. So they're just dumping money into the system. It's not regenerating on its own power. And that's why it's going to go down. Something Number three. Oh, sorry, Steve, go ahead. I was just going to say something we saw a lot of it after the election, where people were interested in their state seceding from the Union. We, it was one of our top trends last year, secession obsession. This year, it's a progression. There are 250 secession movements going on around the world, not only in the U.S. And this isn't a bunch of right-wing nuts. These are people that had it with the federal government. <laughs> Look what's going on. Yeah. Look at this physical cliff drama. You know, the D.C. drama queens, you know? I mean, who can make this stuff up? And new millennium education is? It's going to be huge. It, it, their minds are wired different than young children. The system we have now is industrial age mentality. Kids are learning in a whole different way. They're not only wired differently in terms of what the technology, their minds are wired differently. And the education system has not got into it yet to develop a new it's one. True. It's going to be true. a huge business. Yes, wow. and uh, he is the founder of the Trends Institute, Research Institute. Gerald Salenti, we thank you very He's much. He's a political Thanks, atheist with great insight. Thanks so much. Thank you. you. We're going to take a